Hey guys, in this video we're going to go over Instagram advertising step by step, how to go and set it up, um, what it actually looks like, the differences between Facebook advertising and Instagram advertising, what you should include, what you shouldn't. We're going to go step by step through the whole process. If you guys have any questions, throw them in the comments below, but let's get going. Alright guys, so if you didn't already know, Instagram is actually owned by Facebook. So in order to run Facebook, or uh, excuse me, Instagram ads, you'll need to have a Facebook account, your Facebook ad account, business manager, all of those things. Uh, and to be able to go and find managing ads, your ads manager, just go to your Facebook homepage. You'll click on the arrow in the top right here, and then go on, hover over manage ads, click on that. And you should see something like this where you'll see your name or your business manager. Just click on that. And then on the top left, you should only have one account. I'm going to go and use a test account for this. And then from here, to be able to create an ad, you'll just click on create here uh, or create an ad. I'm going to click on create. And then from here, you'll be able to choose your like specific objective, right? So. For the purpose of this ad, I want to keep it super simple. I'm going to click on lead generation. And a lead generation is uh, essentially, uh, it's called a lead form, right? So we want to acquire leads. I'm going to run you through a full real estate specific campaign so that we can run that via Instagram advertising instead of Facebook and, and the differences between the two. Um, but a lead generation campaign allows you to have essentially a form that a lead would fill out. So name, email, phone number, if they're interested in whatever we have, right? So uh, we're just gonna call this uh, test. And I like to call it whatever it is, right? So if it was conversion, I would say CON here. This is a lead form, so I'm gonna say that, and then the date. That's what I like to call all of my campaigns. And I would I would say one, two, three, Main Street. If we're doing a listing or if you're doing homes list or a lending campaign, you would do that, right? So we're gonna click continue. I'm gonna go over here and click on the page. Uh, on the ad set level, what you wanna do is, ideally you'd have a saved audience. So Dallas, 25 mile, first time home buyer. That's the easiest way if you haven't gone and done that. I go and watch some of my previous videos on how to go and do custom audiences, saved audiences. Uh, I'll link that below as well. Uh, but for this video, we're just going to go through it. I want people who live in this location. I'm going to choose Dallas. And I'm not going to really dial it in too much here, right? So we're going to do 25 mile radius. That's okay. We're going to do 27 years old. I want English. Not really going to get too crazy with the demographics. I am going to exclude for for real estate agents. We don't really want other real estate agents viewing this. So I'm going to go and find National Association of Realtors. Choose that, and then I'm also going to do brokers as well. All right. So those two things usually take out a bunch. You can see our, our target audience is pretty huge here. So actually, I'm going to go up here and do a 10 mile radius and see what that gets us. So that gets us at a million. That's a lot. Um, but for this video, I don't really want to take a whole lot of time on this. Um, and then this is where you're going. If you want to run Instagram ads, you want to choose edit placements. And then from here, uncheck this, right? Because all we want is Instagram. And all we want is the Instagram feed. So we're going to uncheck this. The only thing that should be checked here is Instagram feed. And already that's taken our potential reach down, which isn't a bad thing. It's just different. Uh, we want a budget here. <clears throat> I would recommend starting at at least $10 per day. If you're doing real estate, if you do other things, it might be a little bit more. Uh, but we're going to continue on here. You don't really have to look at all of this. So again, to be able to do just Instagram feed ads, you would just uncheck everything from here. If you're doing a conversions campaign, more of these check boxes will be here. You have to check, uncheck everything but the Instagram feed. And you can see here what this is kind of 
kind of going to look like versus uh, a Facebook ad, right? They're just a little bit different. And I'm going to show you some of the differences here as well. But they do have media requirements that you want to take a look at, right? So you've got some of these media requirements, what that actually looks like. So the length, uh, videos, and aspect ratio, what pictures and videos should look like. You got Facebook rate. Uh, ratio recommendations, Instagram recommendations. So there are some differences between the two that you do want to look at here. Um, but for this video, we're just going to go over this in uh, the actual ad setup. So we're going to click continue here. And then I like to call this, excuse me, we're going to call this uh, 1, 2, 3 Main Street. Whatever business page you want to use, if you want to use just your Facebook page, that's okay. Uh, but you can also go and find your Instagram uh, handle as well, and you can connect the two. Um, I'm not going to go over this. Facebook has a lot of instructional videos on how to go and do that. That's super simple. Uh, so I'm going to go and choose an image here. We're going to choose a stock image. Just use this. Gonna exit out of that. So just use, obviously, if you have a listing, um, you'll want to use that photo. I think another cool thing to do uh, via Instagram, because the pictures and the videos are what Instagram is known for, you really want to have quality, quality images, pictures. Uh, if you want to do a slideshow, if you want to do multiple images, that's cool too. Um, videos do really well on this but the main thing is have really good pictures if you're on instagram with really crappy pictures you're probably not going to get good results and the difference um here would be between facebook and instagram is you would usually on facebook have say you would call out your audience you would say hey new listing in dallas tap the photo goodness photo below because in Facebook the photo is below the text so the text on Instagram is here Facebook the text would be above right so tap that's why it's so important to have a, a really good image on Facebook this is what we would say we'd tap the photo below for more pictures price and location and you'd say awesome feature of the home. You know, do that a few times. We really do a lot of emojis because emojis work really well. That's kind of the framework, right? So call out the audience, tell them what you have, uh, call to action, feature, 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 call to action, right? So those that's the Facebook framework for real estate super simple it's easy to get leads with real estate on Facebook but you don't want to do this here because what people are going to see is it's all below right so you say tap the photo below it's like what I don't understand so you what you want to do um, is you want to use hashtags hashtags do a really good job um, and we would do that in Facebook as well just because it adds a little bit of a difference but what you can do here is hashtag in Dallas and then say whatever it is right I would add the features features of the home is great and at the bottom of this what you want to do is hashtag the daylights out of it right so hashtag real estate hashtag Dallas real estate hashtag two-story home hashtag whatever right you want to go on and on and on with all the hashtags and at the bottom of this I tap the photo above to get access instant access to price photos and location of this listing Okay. And then you can even do, if, the, if, it's, if you're going to do a long, um, you can even do emojis so that they scroll back up, right? So I've got an emoji on Chrome here, and you can do arrow, and you can do all of these, right? 
So you can add all of these. You can just add all of them so that they scroll back up. So that's an option there as well. So that's really the only difference. The, the main thing with Instagram advertising is having a really eye-catching photo, eye-catching video. Um, and then don't put links in the, because uh, if you were doing a conversion campaign within Facebook, so say you had a landing page for your listing, you'd want to put that link in a Facebook ad with a call to action, right? So say tap the link is what we would put for that, right? Um, but in, or excuse me, in Instagram, they don't allow you to have linkable or clickable links in the text. So that's a major difference between Instagram and Facebook as well. The dimensions of this photo are different. So I would highly suggest not doing Facebook and Instagram within the same ad. If you're going to run ads on Instagram, set it up just like this, like I've showed you here choose all this stuff you want to choose the lead form right enter your info below to get instant access to your list of homes same thing applies and then the next page thanks you're all set that's exactly how that's going to look so that's what a lead form a lead um, a lead generation campaign looks like within instagram very very similar to um to Facebook, just a little bit of a slight difference, right? Um, but the difference would be is the actual ad and the linkable thing. So create your Facebook ads separately from your Instagram ad and run them as two totally separate ads is what you want to do there. So if you guys have any questions, throw them in the, in the comments below. If you like this video, please subscribe by clicking the link below. And I hope to bring you uh, valuable content every single day. If you guys have ideas for videos, throw them in the comments below. But again, if you found this video helpful, subscribe, watch some of my other videos, and we'll see you soon.